Aloha YouTube, this is your boy Crypto Roots. And so let's talk, let's spit some crypto game. Let's get back to the crypto game. Let's, let's talk hustling, investments, cryptocurrency. Now, there's thousands of cryptos out there. How do you know which one to choose? And when when you mean by choosing, hold on real quick. Okay. When I mean by choosing, obviously the the purpose is to make a profit. But is it always the purpose? That's what you gotta ask yourselves. Are you actually using these currencies as currencies? Or are you using them as investments? That's the biggest question. You know what I'm saying? So, now, obviously we want to make good investments for the long term if we're investing. Now, if we're using, a current, using it as a currency, well, it works. It actually works currently as a currency. You can actually send and receive payments. So that system is already set up to go. People are waiting around for crypto to do something. When the system is already in place, you can buy and sell goods and services for your uh, for cryptocurrency currently. So you should be, and I, I suggest you utilize that currently. Instead of waiting for the future to get here, and it may never get here, or it may get here, it may, it may not be what you expect it to be. Bitcoin may not hit 20,000 by the end of the year, but you can still send Bitcoin to China, from China, from India, anywhere around the world, decentralized, permission free. Utilize that, capitalize that, profit off that currently. There's different ways, but just to wait for the market to do something that, that shows that you have no control or you're not participating in the market. If you're using it as an investment, <clears throat> how are you to know out of all these thousands of currencies which currency is going to go up in value okay you don't know nobody knows so here's a strategy i like to use i can't necessarily say it's the right one it's just what i feel comfortable i like to invest in desires cryptocurrencies that are ultimately backed by human desires now, what do you what what is what, what I mean by desires? You know what I'm saying? When it comes to cryptocurrency, well, there's a desire for privacy, so I invest in cryptos that specialize in privacy. There's a desire for humor. There's a desire for laughter, so I invest in cryptocurrencies that are meme coins. There's a desire to store your value, so I invest in Bitcoin, which is gold. Now. There's also an, a desire for agreements, agreements between people in case things don't go right, which we all know my story that we desire for there to be some sort of insurance, some sort of safety net in case the agreements don't go through. Now, that's where Ethereum and Ethereum Classic come in, smart contracts, ways we, we can make agreements. And if the agreement doesn't go through on either side, no one has to take a loss. You know what I'm saying? So these are the type of desires that I, I know ultimately the market will reflect in the long run because these desires don't go away. They get stronger and stronger as time goes by. So I feel that for me personally is a great store of value and a great investment when it comes to cryptocurrencies is investing in cryptos backed by human desires. Aloha. Peace.